welcome back. <laughs> you can hear the pigeon. <laughs> He's calling for his mate. <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel, everybody. This week, for an extra little video on a Sunday, I thought I would do my garden progress. So I'm in my house about eight or nine years now and I just had this square back of a garden and for years I just mowed the lawn, all my kind of flowers were in pots and in the last kind of I suppose like year, slightly longer than a year, I have been doing jobs in the back garden to try and make it a garden. So if you have a smaller rectangle or square back garden, this is what I've been doing with it. I am not a pro. I kill many a plant. <laughs> I get things wrong, like all good gardeners should, and that's the fun of it. And also my gardening journey is a slow progress because most of it is done kind of like on a budget. And my greenhouse I think is like the only thing I've invested in. So I'm going to get into the and I'm going to start at the beginning and the before of my garden and then I'll share some of the projects and jobs that I've done the past year and I hope you get some info. If you're new to my channel you can check out my garden playlist. I'm not a kind of garden YouTube channel but I do like to do um, some garden related content but it's mostly home and DIY so if you're new please do hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on my future uploads. I wanted to just share a few clips of what my garden has looked like as my before. Um, so as you can see, my back is just rectangle, long, your bog standard kind of garden, nothing too fancy. And for a long time, I just kept the grass tidy and the little shed that is that came with the house um, and I think it's like a six foot by three it's really small I'm gonna start with the shed because ain't no shame in the clutter game <laughs> so one of the jobs I needed to do was clear out and stop using my shed as a dumping ground so last year I tackled this and this was just full of clutter, years of junk, and I just now get into the habit of like just not dumping in it and keeping it as a pretty shed and only keeping the items that I use. So I also got rid of lots of spiders. <laughs> so last year I gave this um, a good deep clean organization, which you're gonna see, and I also painted the outside as well, and it's like looking like a proper little she shed now. Um, it was painted in like, you know, a garden paint um, in that green color for a couple of years and then I changed it up and I painted it white. So I'm gonna stop waffling and let you enjoy my shed transformation.
So let's chat about the greenhouse. So last year I decided I had been saving some money and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do it. Um, I had saved like money in lockdown and stuff. So I was like, I'm gonna get my greenhouse. No time like the present. So the first thing I had to do was I had to get a concrete foundation laid um, that was nice and level and even because the greenhouse has a lot of weight in it. So it's not something that I could have just, you know, put on blocks the way my shed is. So I got a concrete base and I wanted a brick floor and I did price up tiles and they were just not in the budget. I did not have the budget after, you know, spending on the greenhouse to have a tiled floor. So I decided to paint a tiled floor with my sponge. Um, so I got the idea for doing the brick floor from like a Martha Stewart video. She made a brick floor from like a sponge template that she put a couple together. So I just tweaked the idea and I just used one sponge at a time um, and then just slowly followed like a brick pattern. And it took me about two days to do this. So I did like one half and then I came back and I did the other. And yeah, you'll see how I did my brick floor, which I can happily say is still going strong. And I have mopped the floor and I have washed the floor and it's looking still okay, looking good. We got time on our side when I stayed on home. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. Everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on our own Do you feel that like we got something strong? And I saw you So I don't have any video footage of the actual assembly of my greenhouse because I did have to pay to get it assembled. It came flat packed actually. I ordered my greenhouse from outdoorliving.ie and it's called The Heritage and it's the eight foot by eight foot model and my base is 10 foot by 10 foot. So my concrete base is that little bit wider. And yeah, I paid extra as well to get it assembled because there's no way I would have been able to build Build and assemble this myself. So that's just a little bit of detail on the actual greenhouse. I 
I also wanted to just share um, an idea that I did during the first lockdown, so back in 2020, I made a DIY bar. Now, it has since been taken down because I have now raised beds, but I just wanted to share like just an idea if you do have like a bed frame or any like recycled materials, but basically this was so fun and I loved it while I had it. Um, it no longer was serving a function. I basically built a bar because I live in Ireland and they closed the pubs in 2020, <laughs> outdoors island. And uh, I was like, I had a bed frame because I had gotten a new bed in one of the rooms. So I decided to build a bar. Now I'm not like, you know, a carpenter or anything like that. And building this bar was fun because I got to like experiment with just building something, which was great. Um, I do have a longer video if you wanna see how I kind of pieced it together. But I did, as you're gonna see, I did take it apart. So I had it up for like the guts of like a year and a half, two years. And I then removed it because I wanted to have raised beds. Um, and my raised beds are for cut flowers, which hopefully this year, I will see the fruits of my labor.
So inside of the greenhouse, I decided to do some IKEA eyebrow shelving, um, just because the bottom gives me closed doors and then the top gives me some shelving so I can do the likes of, you know, sea trays and it's great for ho like housing my pots and things like that. And then the closed, um, cabinet at the bottom is handy for you know packets of soil seeds things you know yourself your garden bits and bobs so i have this on the inside of my greenhouse and yeah it is made from wood i did seal it um, but obviously you know it can be moved around and stuff so um you could totally get metal i've seen people with metal kind of framing inside their greenhouse um but i like the wood and i gave it a little paint job little makeover fits in with my kind of style um yeah and it's super handy I like it so far Um, I can adjust the shelving as well so I have since taken some of the shelving out um, and I just have like two shelves now but yeah it's super handy and it's like it kind of like a display wall as well but it is functional and it looks pretty as well In December of this, well, last year, just a couple of months ago, I did some more layout work. So I got my brothers to help me. So just in front of the greenhouse, the grass gets quite soggy. And you'll see that I had like, you know, pots and stuff. And I wanted to put some gravel just around this area because in my garden, this is where it was getting super muddy. The grass was getting wrecked because I was obviously like walking. It was a walkway. Um, so I decided to do some stone and gravel in this area. And my myself and my two brothers helped me that weekend and we managed to lay down some stone and we also dug out a pond which you'll see later in the video and I want to kind of just have water in the garden to attract more wildlife and um, but also by popping down some stone I'm kind of like creating like a little zone in the garden and then I have some like pots and stuff on this now so yeah it was just taking the grass away because it was getting wrecked it was being and muddy and the past like couple of months I've had the stone down and it's just much tidier um, especially when I'm walking to the greenhouse and when I'm pottering and doing jobs around there I no longer have muddy feet which is great.
what's next for the garden? Lots of planting. So while I've been getting the bones of my back garden um, like shaped and things like that, there's obviously still loads of things to do. Planting is a big thing for spring, summer. Um, I have lots of bulbs, <laughs> lots of summer bulbs, but my raised beds are mainly for cut flowers. So once all the spring bulbs start to come up, then I'm going to rotate into summer bulbs and then maybe some fun sunflowers and stuff towards the end of the year and like zinnias and cosmos, like things just to keep it like blooming. Um, I want to try and get some more climbers into the back garden, so flowering climbers, so maybe some clematis and some roses because I really want that cottagey kind of feel. And then the pond and wildlife area, that's come along a good bit um, but more planting is needed there so I have planted some grasses and things like that but it's more so I'm going to see kind of what's grown in the area and then I can just pop in plants as I'm going and then see kind of what 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 plants like the soil and the conditions they're in. My back garden gets most of the sunlight and it's warmer. Um, my front garden I just have, you may have seen in other, I didn't really share much of it in this video, but I just have like one long side flower bed and it's a bit more windy there. So there is lots of stuff that grows there. I'll pop in a link to a video um, from last year where I was giving it like a tidy up. Um, and I did slightly extend it last year um, like it's longer and wider so and there's more spring balls in that but again a bit more planting to do there that i suppose is and that's the fun of gardening is it's ever changing there's always things to do and it's never complete because you're always gonna see something new want to do something different um i'd love to get a bit more water in the garden so i have the pond but maybe putting like like a feature around the bird baths. Like I have lots of kind of nature that comes in and out of the garden, um, including the hedgehogs still. I want to just expand on that and then yeah, just keep tipping away. And obviously lots of time shall be spent in the greenhouse this year when the weather heats up. Um, but it's actually, it's not too cold at the moment. It is mild. I can't wait for sunny mornings to just kind of be in here, pot around about, cup of tea. Um, I am excited for the year ahead in the garden. I would love to know your garden plans. Are you the same, just kind of tipping away each year? Or are you really happy with what you've done and you're just kind of maintaining it each year? You can let me know in the comments below. That is me for this video. I'll see you in Thursday's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.